here, we're taking you back to the days of barber surgeons to discuss hair. More specifically, in this sketch, we're going to go over the DDX for hirsutism and virilization in people who have XX chromosomes. The scene is set at the shop of the most notorious of all the barber surgeons, Sketchy Todd. Keep an eye out for where he's wielding his razor. Let's start by defining hirsutism and virilization. Hirsutism refers to excess hair in a distribution typically attributed to men, such as hair on the face, chest, and lower abdomen. We've symbolized it with this patron who has, well, quite a bit of facial hair. Virilization, symbolized by the male symbol found in these scissors, refers to the physical effects of increased levels of testosterone on patients with an XX chromosome. These changes include clitoral enlargement, temporal balding, voice deepening, and breast involution. We'll split up our DDXs into one for hirsutism and one for virilization. Let's start out with hirsutism. PCOS, symbolized with these two bowls filled with hair dye pods, is first up on the list. PCOS is an endocrine disorder that encompasses the triad of oligomenorrhea due to anovulatory cycles, polycystic ovaries, and clinical and lab signs of hyperandrogenism, such as hirsutism. If your patient has two out of three criteria we just mentioned, then they can be diagnosed with PCOS. PCOS is also associated with metabolic disturbances, and many of these patients exhibit insulin resistance. One physical exam finding you may notice as a result of this is acanthosis nigricans, symbolized by these gray patches on this smock. In terms of lab findings, some teaching and question stems will point towards an elevated LH to FSH ratio as being suggestive of PCOS, which is why we've put our LH light higher up than the FSH spray bottle. But keep this in mind just for test-taking purposes, because this elevated ratio is not diagnostic.